What's going on, everybody? Mrs. Ascalon, I'm Ascalon, and we are Team Rixie, back with another taste test video for you. We just couldn't stay away from the sodas that contain real sugar. Yay! I love real sugar sodas. So today we're going to be taste testing a variety of... Jarritos! <laughs> I want her to say it because she says it, says it better Jarritos than I do. Jarritos Mexican sodas. So we have eight of the twelve flavors so we don't have all 12 but we will be trying eight of them for you today and letting you know of course which one's our favorite yes so without further ado you know what time it is let's go all right so the flavors of Jarritos. <laughs> i'm gonna do that every time like i'm vanna white you know, pushing the letters on wheel of fortune um we have eight flavors that we're gonna try for you today so, let's go ahead and get into that taste test. All right, so the first one we're going to try is Fruit Punch. Ooh. So, let's see. Usually, I'm not a huge Fruit Punch soda person. That's good. That is pretty good. There's a... I like it. It tastes pretty much like Fruit Punch. There's a slight little aftertaste in it, though. Not to me. Know. It tastes like high C carbonated. I like it. <laughs> The little aftertaste, though, I don't know if I necessarily like that part. So I don't know if this one's going to end up being one of my favorites. I don't have an aftertaste. It must be the back of your tongue. <laughs> the back of my tongue. You Got nasty. Some nasty. Yeah, you nasty. back of my tongue. <laughs> and so, yeah, it caused that aftertaste. Maybe. I don't know. All right. So the second flavor we got is grapefruit. Yum, yum. I love real grapefruit in real life. It's so good. Let's see what this tastes like. What's oh, that? I put it down. Sorry. <laughs> what are the other grapefruit sodas? It's like Fresca. Mm -hmm. I think it's grapefruit, and I like Fresca. I think Squirt. Squirt too. I think yeah, it's grapefruit is grapefruit as well. <laughs> this is good. That's yum. Yeah, yum. grapefruit tastes really good. I really do like that. And you're not a big grapefruit fan. I'm not like actual grapefruit. But that's good. But grapefruit flavor stuff apparently is pretty good because I like Fresca. And I like Fresca, <laughs> Fresca, <laughs> and I like, uh, what's the other one, Squirt, yeah. so, but I, I like Sprites, and I know this is grapefruit, not lemon lime, but it's got that same kind of crisp taste okay. to it. Speaking of Sprite, our third flavor is lime. lime. Okay, so we're going to see what the lime one is working with. Put the lime in the, mmm. <laughs> You put the lime it in must the be good. She stopped and singing. them both up. Mm. That one's pretty mild. It tastes like, yeah, it's, it tastes kind of like a lemon lime Gatorade, but not as I think something. I just think that because the color. No, it tastes kind of, <laughs> it reminded me, like at first sip, it's not as strong as a Gatorade, though. Mm, I like it. I don't know. Weird. All right, our fourth flavor. Ooh, it had the little mist coming out of the top is a mandarin mandarin orange i think orange. that's maybe their original if you go on their website it's like it all sort of mandarin or something oh like okay that. i did not know that i think she always comes with the facts so <laughs> she does her I homework think I'm right. i know <laughs> anyways bottoms up and that was pretty good not as strong as like a sun kiss or orange fanta which is not necessarily a bad what do you mean thing. By strong, like it doesn't have an overwhelming strong, taste. Yeah, I feel like that's because it's mandarin and not orange. Okay, I'm not sure. That's pretty good though. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I do like that. And you know, after we did our Pepsi soda shop video, we were on a, you know, actual sugar I soda. I think kick. it all started with Club Cool. At Epcot. <laughs> I really do. We have tasted <laughs> several sodas <laughs> since then. So. Well, clearly Canadian as well. Yeah. It, we're just soda testers. Yeah. All right, next one. All right. Mango. Number five. Mm. That one smells like mango just when you put it up <laughs> to your face. You can smell it. It's very mango y. Smell it. Smell it. Wait, hold on, I tasted it first. He doesn't, oh, wow, it he does. He doesn't have a very good smell. I don't, so. so if I smell it, you know it's pretty strong. Man, why are all of these so good? Like, I'm already having a hard time deciding which one oh, I like too. better. Me too. 
That one was real good. Yeah, uh, like, I know the Fruit Punch is not number one. I do know that for a fact. But <laughs> these other ones, whew, they're good. Number six, Pineapple. I'm not looking forward to this one. Yeah, see, I like pineapple sodas, like a pineapple Fanta, every once in a while. Again, not as strong as like the other ones, though. It's, it doesn't have a strong pineapple-y taste like Fanta does. Okay, I'm going to explain why I'm not looking forward to this. You guys know that I don't like watermelon. Excuse me, I burp. <laughs> Again, whoo! I don't like watermelon-flavored things. Or banana flavored things. I like real watermelon, real banana. Similar issue with pineapple. Oh, so I'm kind of like dreading this, but okay. There's actually a watermelon flavored hotty dos <laughs> that we don't have. That's not terrible. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not as strong and overpowering of a taste but I would, as like other sodas. I would not choose that one though. So that one definitely won't be Mrs. Escalon's mm -hmm. favorite. I can tell it's you that. It's good. No, it's good. I just, I'm not partial to it. I'm burping too. All this soda you, tasting. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. Strawberry. Is number seven here. All right. I love a good strawberry soda. That was okay for me. But you're a strawberry Fanta fan, and, and I, that has a lot stronger strawberry. I was about flavor. to say, I feel like it needs a stronger strawberry but taste. But this, I mean, it tastes. I mean, it tastes like real sugar. I like that. Mm. That one likes is like the fruit punch it's one mild. for me, though. It's got a little, it's got a little aftertaste too. That's kind of odd to Not me. Not to me. None of these have had an aftertaste for me. Uh, uh, maybe there is something wrong with it. All right, the last, last one. Last one. Last one. My mouth. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like that, but I had to say it twice because it sounded funny and it felt cool and it was out of my mouth. <laughs> Anyways, last one that we're going to taste test is tamarind. Tamarindo. Is that how you say that? Tamarind. And what is tamarind? It's I know I've asked you this before. It's fruit that looks kind of like a little brown nugget and they scrape the stuff out of it and it's actually very delicious. All right, but it's, so. it's an odd looking fruit. <laughs> That one's pretty good too. I think. No, this one does have a little bit of an aftertaste, but I think that's because tamarind typically has a little bit of an aftertaste. Yeah. It's like almost kind of sour ish. The aftertaste. It almost has like a, um, like a root beer ish, sassafrasy. Not really. I don't know. There's yeah, something earthy but... to it. But it's not as bad as like root beer. Because I don't really like root beer. So if it was root beer-ish, I There's would not like it. There's something a little it. earthy about this. But I like it. Okay, so we're basically going to kind of talk about the ones that we liked the best. Okay. I suppose. Because for, I don't know about Asclom, but for me, I like all of them. I would drink all <laughs> of them. I mean, yeah, I can drink all of them. Like, you know, you, you, you serve that to me, I'll be fine. <laughs> but there's a few that I wouldn't necessarily... They got the hiccups now. I wouldn't necessarily go after in the store like, oh, give me that one. Right. So let's 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 pull like top three. Okay. Like three that we really enjoyed. Alright, well my favorites are Grapefruit. In no particular order. <laughs> Mandarin. <laughs> Sorry. And hmm. I, I really, I'm sorry. I really like the fruit punch. <laughs> it's yummy. Um, and probably my least favorite would be the pineapple. But that's like a, a kind of a personal preference thing. It's still tasty. Yeah. It's just not my favorite. Okay. All right, so yours was grapefruit. I went citrus on this one. Grapefruit. What else? Fruit punch and... And mandarin. And mandarin. Yeah. Okay. All right. For me, I definitely like the grapefruit one. Like, this one's just so refreshing. Like, I can see coming it's home, delicious. you know, popping open a bottle of the grapefruit one and just kicking it's back delicious. in the recliner, just laying back, playing a video game, and sipping some grapefruit jarritos. It's very summery. And I, I definitely like that. like that one. Um, I also like the mandarin one as well. Um... It's got a crisp orange, non-artificial flavor. Yeah. 
And then my other one I probably liked was probably the lime one. Not bad. I, I, I like the lime one. I keep sipping them as I go through this. <laughs> Just to remind myself. Um, and then the one that I probably like the least is the fruit punch. <laughs> Just because I don't care what she says. It's got a weird aftertaste for me. Let me let me let me taste it again though. Just to make sure. I just like it because I love a high sea fruit punch or a Hawaiian punch and that kind of reminds me of that. But fizzy. So yeah. So what four flavors were we missing? Today? Okay, the four that we could not find, unfortunately. And we tried. Were watermelon, and I'm grateful for that. <laughs> and um well, I There's rattled like them off to you one. earlier, and now Jamaica is one. Jamaica. I wonder what that tastes Mexican like. Mexican cola. Okay. And... What's the, what's the fourth one? <laughs> <laughs> what is touching your nose going to help you remember? <laughs> uh, oh, guava. Guava. It's yeah, guava. Okay. Which is actually, I wish we had that one. It's a really pretty pink color. Oh, really? Guava. I didn't yeah. know that. And guava, I mean, if you've ever had it, or guava paste... It's kind of on the tart side, so I'd be interested to try that one especially. Now, I do have to mention this really quickly before we close this video. We still, if you saw our Pepsi Cola taste test video that we posted a few days ago, we still have not found. Little Debbie Christmas Tree Cake Ice Cream is what I'm looking for, people. I'm looking for it. <laughs> Please help us. So I just had to throw that in really quickly. Also, if you know where we can get the other four flavors of Haritos, Haritos, I did it, Haritos, let us know in the comments below in an Alabama area somewhere that we can find it. He took French, not Spanish. He actually minored in French in college. Yeah, I did. So he doesn't know Haritos, he knows Haritos. Sure. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let us know in the comments if you know where to find those other four flavors or that Christmas tree cake ice cream. I need to say Christmas tree cake because if I just say Christmas tree ice cream, you'll be thinking this ice cream That's made out of Christmas trees. That's right. And that is pretty gross. Okay. Hit that like button if you like what you saw in this video. Also, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about the video. And again, if you know where to find those other sodas or the Christmas tree cake ice cream. Hit that subscribe button for more content from Team Rixie. We have other taste test videos. We have some Disney World videos. We'll actually probably be recording another Disney World video, hopefully at least this weekend. That's coming up. And we got Thanksgiving break next week, so we got plenty of time to hopefully get a few more videos uh, recorded since Ain't we don't have to be in no school. school next week. <laughs> I'll be grading a lot of the time. Yeah, I will be too. But that's okay. I'm, behind. I'm so I feel so blessed to have the whole weekend off and to be with family and be thankful. And then have the whole week off after the whole weekend off. Heck. <laughs> so look for more content coming soon from the two of us. Again, I'm Ascalon. This is Mrs. Ascalon. We're Team Rixie, and we'll see you guys in another video. Y'all take care. Peace. Peace.